And that's the work that they've been doing for many years. And now, as you are probably well aware, we've acquired LifeGen. So all of their patents, all of their knowledge, the database that they have is now part of NewSkin's intellectual property. That gives us a real edge at targeting the sources of aging, the age lock approach. So here's a heat map. And now you understand it, right? Here we have genes that are young, and you can see the gene expression levels that have changed as you become old. I think I've explained this a little earlier. The goal then is to reactivate or to find out what sort of a strategy, what kind of ingredients can reactivate those old genes so that they're expressing themselves so that they're youthful again. Here's an example. You have now the old and the young pattern screening for ingredients. And you can see here that ingredient 4 has actually reactivated the old gene expression so that it looks much more like that of the younger gene expression pattern. This is something that nobody's ever been able to do before age lock. It's important to know that we have this gene expression data bank. Now I told you before how immense, how huge this, the, the level of data is in the human genome. So as you do each experiment, you're generating millions of data points. We have been, or LifeGen has been accumulating over the last many years, all of the information that they've gathered from looking at different tissues, different species, and uh, different states of life, young versus old, different ingredients, different nutritional regimens. All of that information has gone into this database. Just to give you an example of the kind of uh, data that's generated, in this simple experiment alone, there are 30,000 genes per genome, as I mentioned. And uh, in this simple experiment, five individuals were in tested with various ingredients. Seven biological conditions, young and old, plus five ingredients. So this adds up to about 10.5 million gene expression data points. So you can see that this quickly starts to accumulate. This is information that we have that helps us to access uh, understanding aging at the genetic level. This is our age lock tool. Now I've spent a bit of time explaining this to you because I, help, I need you to understand that age lock is not just one sort of one approach or one product. It's a whole approach to looking at aging at the sources and not just the signs and the symptoms. So using this age lock tool, now we're able to go and to investigate aging and see what we can do about it. So again, I mentioned before, youthful feeling is very much related to how productive your cells are and how youthful they're expressing themselves. And those cells in terms of their energy production and how they're able to cleanse themselves are also very much dependent upon how the genes are expressing themselves. That's targeting the sources of aging. Now, if we want to feel youthful again, then we should start to look at the machinery that provides energy for the cell and for the human body. The mitochondria are the nuclear power plants of the cell, if you will. Those are the little organelles within the cell that are able to combine oxygen and sugar or some sort of uh, energy source into, uh, into energy, into the chemical energy of the body, which is ATP. We know from all of the research that's been done that mitochondrial activity does decline with age. So you see here in this graph uh, approximately a 40% reduction in efficiency of the mitochondria by the time you're about uh, 60. So, uh, you know, this is not a sudden decline, but it's a gradual decline as you age. So it seems very logical then that we should first examine which genes are responsible for building and maintaining the mitochondria in the body. So let's go to the nucleus and find that out. And using the age lock tool, we could determine which genes are involved in energy production and maintenance. The next thing that happens with aging, and it's closely related as I'll explain later, is that cellular cleansing declines with age. It declines with age as well. That means that we have as cellular energy goes down, we also have an increase or a toxic buildup of those things that are not healthy for the cell, that the cell needs to get rid of. Putting, looking at it another way, if you see the, the blue cylinder on the left, let's just say that that's a barrel that contains the, uh, the cellular um, purification system. And that's the capacity of the cell to keep itself clean and to renew itself. And then you look to the right and you see that there are toxins that 
cause the cell to age, damage the proteins and things like that. Some are external toxins, like the pollution, the air that we breathe, uh, maybe it's sun exposure, things like that that damage the cell or cause it to age, cause the proteins to age. And then you've got internal toxins as well. These are just the results of our metabolic processes. It's sort of like the metabolic exhaust that we produce, some of it from the mitochondria. And in the youthful cell, then we have more than enough capacity for the cell to cleanse itself and to keep itself renewed. Now, as we age, the aging cell is a different story. You see that the capacity of the cell to cleanse itself has reduced quite a lot. And that means that it can't keep up with the toxic burden that's there. That is the picture of an aging cell or an aged cell that we need to change. These are actually very closely related. They seem like separate things and certainly they are separate uh, machinery within the cell and the genes that code for that equipment are also separate but they work together ultimately because as cellular energy declines then the ability of the cell to purify itself also declines and as that happens it affects cellular energy because things get sort of gummed up in the cell so you get this downward spiral it's a one-two punch of aging and that affects your ability to feel young and put it a really simple way if you don't have any energy you can't clean right it's just like a vacuum cleaner that you can no longer plug into the wall it becomes a lot harder and then uh, before you know it you're tripping over all the junk so we have targeted those genes that are involved in cellular energy, a youth gene cluster, we'll call it, and cellular purification, a separate youth gene cluster. And you can see that as we age, because we have found those genes that change during the aging process, then we can target those and try to reactivate them. And that's what the age lock tool is all about. Targeting those genes and then reactivating them so that we can have that youthful feeling again. So in summary then, we've got an approach where we target the sources of aging. That's what age lock is. And our association with LifeGen technologies, our database, all of that information that we have on being able to interpret the genome at the aging level, or in other words, measure aging at the genetic level, has enabled us to have a whole new innovative approach at targeting the sources of aging and doing something about it. In this case, We've targeted two systems inside the body, cellular energy and cellular purification that I've shared with you are intricate, intricately connected. And the cellular energy helps us to feel recharged. The cellular purification helps us to feel refreshed. Now these work together as I mentioned, right? So cellular energy in a youthful cycle actually is a positive thing for cellular purification. And cellular purification is a positive sort of a feedback for energy production, helping uh, with the recharge and the refreshed feeling of youth. So the science then in a nutshell is identifying and targeting, then reactivating the youth gene clusters related to cellular energy production and cellular oxidative protection and cleansing. Where does that leave us? Well, starting today then, you have the power to feel young. Now, age lock R squared day actually targets physical, mental, and sexual energy. And R squared night, cellular oxidative protection and cleansing, as I've explained earlier with the science. Now, the recommended use, of course, is that we want to feel the youthful energy during the day. So age lock R squared day is taken uh, in the morning or any time during the day when you're feeling a little bit of a lag targeted for those people who have ever felt flat or sluggish, out of tune and want to feel young. So take six of those in the morning and age like R squared night is taken in the evening, two capsules in the evening, because actually that's where most of the cellular cleansing is taking place. The advantages of this approach, as I've explained hopefully uh, fairly clearly, is that we are targeting the sources of aging rather than just the signs. Now, where does that leave LifePack? Because I'm sure many of you actually are faithful LifePack consumers. Well, it's the perfect companion. LifePack provides a significant nutritional supplement for a healthful diet, a youthful diet. And those nutrients are critical for cellular purification and cellular energy as well. And they actually, those nutrients, help the body, help the cells to, uh, to run all of the equipment and all of the machinery that it needs to make all of these things happen. 
these dietary antioxidants that are in life pack are also critical for protection, added protection from oxidative stress, keeping the cells youthful. So I haven't talked much about skin today, but I hope that you can see that we also have in Age Lock a very unique approach of looking at health and wellness and beauty from the inside as well as the outside. We're targeting the sources of aging on the outside and the inside by delivering a beautiful blend for the look and the feel of youth. Thanks everyone and all the best with Age Lock R squared.